to coast. Transition bucket for the Huskers. Oregon the other side, and the answer from Sim. You know, Coach Altman's one of the few coaches out there that still wants to run even on made ba baskets, and you see that uh, Nebraska a little slow in transition deep. And that's a pretty good fit for Oregon in the Pac-12. It is. You know, there aren't many teams in the country that really run like Oregon. Uh, you know, if you watch Oregon, you might see Washington uh, run about them as well. Sean Miller's squad, and Arizona gets up and down, and now Nebraska picking its spots to run. Richardson. They will definitely pick their spots. When they have numbers, they're going to look to attack as well. Spencer gives it up to Richardson. Diaz 20 feet away. Ubell had a big first half, blocked away from behind. The help came from the top that time, Tyrone Nared. You know, you watch Oregon when Nebraska had the ball in the post there. They didn't come with the help until the ball was put on the floor. As soon as that ball bounces on the floor, you watch Oregon going for the double team, thinking that they can't dribble and then kick it back out as well. Diaz off the inbounds. That's at least the third bucket Nebraska has gotten off an underneath inbounds play. Yeah, really good execution there on X in the post. Oregon just didn't uh, communicate well enough. Were they going to switch? Were they going to stick with their men there? Handoff for Lloyd. Singler looks inside. Strong move by Jacob reaching around Diaz and Jeremy Jacob. Jacob's been around a little while. He turns 24 years old this week. Missed 22 games last year with two knee injuries. One for each side. Ubell working inside and puts it off the glass and in. A dozen now for Brandon Ubell. Both teams, you know, I think they had a little shell shock in the first half with everybody knocking down those open three point shots. So they've been more extended. Then each team's going inside a little bit more. Tally with the rebound. Spencer wanted to push it. Tally says, I'll get it to you in a moment. Tally drives, peels out, and looks for Ubell. Three point Oregon lead. Spencer's trying to direct the offense from the corner away from the basketball. Two man game this side. And an illegal screen on Brandon Ubell. That's his third personal. You get a replay here on that moving screen. Pretty, pretty close call, but you've got to be able to, to let the offensive player be able to, to see. If you can see the defensive player, he could come right next to him, but look like right there he's moving a little bit and uh, didn't get the, the benefit of the call there. It's odd that Nebraska is spending so much time running its offense away from Bo Spencer. Their leading scored 17 points a game. Sim, three. He gets another. Garrett Sim, the senior from Portland, is trying to shoot Oregon to a road win tonight. He's hit all four of his attempts from behind the arc. Spencer working on Sim. Three ball for the answer, no. Another thing about Sim having a great night offensively, he hasn't had to worry about Spencer on the defensive end because Spencer hasn't done much. That's right, you know, and he's done such a good job in transition going down there and hunting his shot, and Nebraska just hasn't identified him as much. The offense has run through Singler in the second half. He gets into the paint, leaves it, and Woods can't finish, and home crowd wanted a whistle. The dribble went off of Woods, the junior transfer from Wake Forest. A little bit of emotion here tonight for Dana Altman's Oregon Ducks. They have the lead on Nebraska. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. leads the Spartans into a showdown with Dan Persa and the Wildcats. Saturday, presented by the United States Marine Corps, only on BTN.
Time Warner Cable introduces wideband internet that revolves around you. With enough bandwidth for everyone to stream movies, shop, game, and more. All at the same time. Call 1-877-53-MYTWC and get speeds up to 50 megs. And ask about upgrading your internet for as low as $10 more a month. We've changed the way the internet can work for you all over the house. Just call and get faster speeds. Plus, get a great deal on HBO and Cinemax. This Black Friday weekend at Schaefer's, get four years interest-free store-wide. Save on appliances, high-def TVs, mattresses, and more. That's 48 months with no interest to pay. Imagine your new kitchen, 208 weeks interest-free. How about that new home theater, 1,460 days interest-free. New mattress set, that's right, 35,040 hours interest-free at Schaefer's. This Black Friday weekend, get four years interest-free. Or 2,102,400 interest-free minutes. Schaefer's, 48th in our Lincoln. the Devaney Center. Nebraska trying to claw its way back into this game, trailing Oregon by six. Under 16 minutes to go. Bo Spencer, the LSU transfer, averaging 17 points a game through the first three. Tonight, he only has three points. Spencer. Working on Woods, now Singler. They switch off again, and Spencer can't shake free. Three different guys just guarded Bo Spencer. Here's Richardson over Woods. And it rims out. And then Spencer trying to be active with a reach. You sense some frustration from Bo Spencer trying to get involved in this game? Yeah, you do. And Oregon did a good job that possession. You know, they came out of that three-quarter court press, dropped back, and changed defenses a couple times. There you look at the foul coming off on the, on the rebound there. Just trying to do a little too much. If they're going to switch on every screen as Oregon did just a moment ago, how can Spencer do a better job of getting open and finding a shot? Ashalu is fouled on his way up. Well, I think one thing is you don't know exactly what Oregon's doing. You know, they come back as a 2-3. Are they going to follow? Are they going to switch everything? And just about the point you think they're going to do that, they go ahead and do something else, and they keep you off balance with that mixing up of defenses. Dana Altman put it simple. He said, yeah, we junk it up. We mix it up, we junk it up, we keep you thinking. And it has paid off. Ashley can't finish the three-point play. Brandon Richardson has the rebound. Here come the Huskers. Nearly carried it. Diaz battling with Woods for position. Good feed, but Woods whistled for the hold before the shot could get off. That's the third personal on Tony Woods, the junior Wake Forest transfer. Now here you're going to look at that. They're posting up, really making an emphasis. Oregon does a full front. They come over the top with that pass, and, and Oregon gets uh, the holding call. Richardson. Spencer runs off the screens to come up top, and they turn it back around and give it to McRae. His three off the mark. Largest lead of the game for the Ducks at eight. And they have a chance to add to it. Here's steal by McRae. Woods works into the paint, jumps through, got right by Diaz. Really, it's been the key to the game for Oregon. They're throwing it constantly, every possession, looking down at the post. Oregon has put together a 7-0 run to open up a double-digit lead. And Doc Sadler brings his guys to the bench while the Ducks talk to Dana Altman. For the past 10 years, our graduates shared their stories. Now they come together for the first time. It's really good to see how this reunion comes together, bring the kids together to kind of see what they've done. And it's pretty exciting, interesting too. I've had my education, I've got a job with my education, and I'm happy to wake up and go to work. I'm happy to come home and see my family. If my son asked me what I said in the commercial, I would tell him exactly what I said, that I'm absolutely happy with my education, that I did it mainly so I can take care of my wife and son. Everything I said back when I was featured on the commercial is absolutely still true today.
Someone once told me that the uh, best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. And going to ITT Tech, uh, that's what I did. I took a chance, invested in my own education, and it absolutely paid off. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-488-3652 or visit us on the web. Friday, two of the nation's best players hit the hardwood for a Hoots doubleheader on BTN. First, Jared Sullinger and the Buckeyes are primed to put on a show when they host Valparaiso. Then, Jordan Taylor leads the Badgers into a clash with Bradley at the Chicago Invitational Challenge. Big Ten Basketball, presented by GMC. Friday, only on BTN. I'm serious. We compare our direct rates side by side to find you a great deal, even if it's not with us. Oh, that's helpful. Well, our company does that too. Actually, we invented that. It's like a sauna in here. Helping you save even if it's not with us. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. No mas pantalones. You can always hear from BTN personalities, get programming information, and so much more. Follow the BTN on Twitter and on Facebook today. Tom Hart, Keno Davis with you from Lincoln. The Huskers are trying to stay undefeated, but they've run into a buzzsaw here. The Oregon Ducks, who have had a chance to see the sights and sounds of Lincoln, they got here Monday. Monday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and they left at 8.30 in the morning on Monday, so maybe Coach Altman took them to the, uh, the hot spots of Lincoln, showed them the town, <laughs> so got them playing this well. I was very impressed with the Oregon shoot-around today. The energy level for a group of guys that have been on the road since 8.30 a.m. Pacific time on Monday. You know, they're just anxious to play a game. Yeah, yeah, with my experience, that can go one of two ways. Either you come out really ready and anxious to play, or sometimes you can come out flat and, and feel like you've been sitting in a hotel for a couple days. Bo Spencer trying to force the issue offensively, and he draws the foul from Olu Ashelu. You know, Nebraska's prone to put the ball on the floor a lot and attack the basket. You know, you want your defense to be able to rotate over there and try to draw the charge. Uh, if you don't do that, you know, Spencer's going to definitely get to the free throw line a lot. Spencer, 10th in the Big Ten at 82% from the stripe. And trying to find some points any way he can. He's got five now. Lead is eight. Oregon has seemingly done what they want on the offensive end tonight. Singler bumped on the drive. And that goes against Christopher Neiman. The junior from Germany. This is one of those games where you really, as an offensive unit, you have to take it to contact because the officials are calling it tight. You got to draw the fouls as much as you can and see if you can if you can win the free throw line battle. There you have a holding call on the Nebraska. Coach Altman made a made a major emphasis today in practice on their under basket out of bounds plays that they had to execute better. Mentioned that they only put in a few and that he's got about 12 or 14 more to put in. So they've got to learn the first ones that they've got. So that was the first on Dylan Talley, and here's E.J. Singler, junior out of South Medford High School. Singler, talented family. You know about his brother Kyle, most outstanding player of the Final Four at Duke. His dad was a quarterback on some awful Oregon State football teams, but a battler. And high school Gatorade Player of the Year in the state of Oregon was E.J., where he went to four state title games. They split the first two with another guy from Oregon by the name of Kevin Love. He was pretty good. Then got the, his second when Love was gone. Here's Spencer for three. Can't get it going. Singler with the rebound. Ashley wants to drive, gives it up, calls for it again. Singler gets all the way underneath the basket, gave it up. Get pass, three ball, and it's hauled down by Richardson. Nebraska has won 49 of its last 50 home games against non-conference opponents. And there's a whistle against the Ducks and a Bronx cheer for the folks in the stripes. It's a second on Jeremy Jacob. 
Well, you know, Oregon got into the uh, into the bonus there in the first six minutes of the game, so it's going to be one of those games where you've got to make sure that you play good, solid defense, and that they're going to call the out on the perimeter. They're going to call those hand checks in the post as well. It looks like uh, they're going to call uh, call pretty tight. Six minutes, nearly seven minutes into the second half, Ducks will be shooting the rest of the way. Off the inbounds, tally. Won't get the home roll, and here come the Ducks the other way. Lloyd with the screen from Jacob. Singler gives it back up. Lloyd hasn't been much of a threat. He has five points, and he's hit one three. Ashley spins right past Diaz. The baseline feed and the jumper goes. A beautiful feathery touch from Jeremy Jacob, who's now into double figures. Doc Sadler's got to use another timeout because the Oregon lead has grown to 12. And I think what he's calling this timeout for is it's a more of a defensive timeout to, to talk about hey, how are we going to defend that them going to the post and, and drawing those fouls. And then the offensive end. And Nebraska's got to get back to, to throwing into the post as well. Draw the contact, get to the free throw line. They've been relying on the jump shot. And credit Oregon to, you know, giving them some of those opportunities with their press. Those might not be the, the shots that Coach Sadler wants. An 11-2 Oregon run. Bo Spencer tonight has five points, one three and two free throws. Spencer just one of five from the floor. And while Singler only has five, you know, it seems like Singler on the offensive end has been able to be an offensive catalyst even without scoring. And he really has. The ball's gone through his hands quite a bit, and he's made that extra pass. You know, hasn't scored as much in the post, isn't, and it hasn't been given those open jump shots. Spencer gets the high screen, splits the D, gets to the rim, and goes with a finger roll to score. Yeah, I really like to see Spencer do more of that, taking it to the basket, trying to create going towards the basket rather than trying to get his jump shot out. Singler, or pardon me, Spencer is a two-year starter at LSU, won an SEC title in 2009 for Trent Johnson squad. Ashley fading away, great touch to get that one in off the window. And a dozen now for Olu Ashley. No Oregon pressure. Against Rhode Island, Nebraska was able to use the Rhode Island pressure to easy buckets. Now Emery! Spencer whistled for the foul. He thought it was clean. It's the third of Nebraska's senior point guard. He just showed the replay to the home crowd. Everybody thought this one was clean. Spencer incredulous. Oregon still. You ready for your present? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Sometimes the giving can be just as amazing as the gift. What do you think? <laughs> the Lexus December to Remember sales event is here, but only for a limited time. See your Lexus dealer for exclusive lease offers on the 2012 CT200H. And as a gift from Lexus, we'll make your first month's payment. Your American dream is out there. Go get it. Dreams don't come easy. So put on your work boots, fire up your laptop, pour yourself a cup of coffee, because there's going to be some late nights. American Family Insurance is your American dream insurance. We protect more than your home, your car, your business, your life. We protect your dream. Your dream is out there. Go get it. We'll protect it. American Family Insurance. At Time Warner Cable, we connect you with more than what you love to watch. We connect you with the ones you love. And for a limited time, we're celebrating some of our greatest offers of the year.
This Black Friday weekend at Schaefer's, get four years interest-free store-wide. Save on appliances, high-def TVs, mattresses, and more. That's 48 months with no interest to pay. Imagine your new kitchen, 208 weeks interest-free. How about that new home theater? 1,460 days interest-free. New mattress set? That's right, 35,040 hours interest-free at Schaefer's. This Black Friday weekend, get four years interest-free. Or 2,102,400 interest-free minutes. Schaefer's, 48th in our Lincoln. Morgan leads Nebraska by a dozen, 11.46 to go from the Devaney Center in Lincoln. Let's take a look at tonight's Reese's Perfect Combination. And for the Oregon Ducks, Garrett Sim has yet to miss tonight. He's a perfect 4-4 from the floor. All of those shots coming from behind the arc and six more from the line. And Ashaloub has 12 points with three boards and perhaps the biggest buck of the night. That one hand jam that was part of a 14 to nothing run. Tom Hart, Keno Davis. Foul trouble may be an issue coming down the stretch. Oregon only has one with three. Nebraska has four players with three personals. You know, and Tom O'Neill is talking with the scores here, trying to make sure we've got the right people not only at the line, but in the game, I believe. You know, you look, there's 12 minutes left in this game, and Oregon's already been to that free throw line 20 times, making 15 out of 20. Nebraska there is shooting well, is also at 12 out of 14, but needs to get there a little bit more. Ducks against Southeast Missouri get 20 of their 86 points from the free throw line. They hit 20 of 25. And it's a big change for a team the first couple of games, which did not shoot well from the free throw line, and they turned the ball over. 41 turnovers in the first two games for Oregon. 11 of those belong to the now departed super freshman Jabari Brown who came in as a four star recruit. Spencer got a half step on Bruce Barron who commits his third personal. So is that the key for Spencer just take it as hard as you can to the rim. I think so as long as it's one on one defense and Oregon doesn't rotate over I think I'd be taking it there at every opportunity and make things happen. Neiman had a bunny on the inbounds but it was knocked away by Olu Ashley. Really well executed underneath the play we'll see they had scored on that three times now see if they can uh, they can run another set. Tally gives a right pack to Spencer. He gets hard to the glass, but is short. Offensive rebound, Tally. No. Up high to get it. With the Ducks, and it's a walk by Tyrell Nared, who hit the floor hard. This doesn't have the feel of a non-conference matchup, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Well, when Coach Altman comes in in Nebraska, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem foreign at all. had a bear hug on the screen and he gets whistled for his third fifth team foul on the Ducks here in the second half Brandon Richardson returns Spencer will catch a breather Nebraska has been without Jorge Brian Diaz for a good chunk last few minutes Neiman inside jump hook won't go Naren had that rebound, gives it up, and Oregon gives it right back. Singler returns. Emery takes a seat. 11 minutes to go. The Oregon lead is 12. Get space on the block. He popped Bruce Barron, and it's a second on Christopher Neiman. So Neiman will take a seat. Jorge Brian Diaz returns. Quality minutes from Neiman, who's a triple major: computer science, computer engineering, and mathematics. Were you a triple major in college? Uh, I was one third of that. <laughs> I had a triple cheeseburger. <laughs> 
Nebraska shows zone. Nebraska going zone for the first time. Think the foul trouble. Oregon's in the double bonus, so if they can draw fouls, they'll be shooting two the rest of the way. And the corner three is good. Tyrell Nerritt's first triple of the night, third of the season. Richardson trying to push it. And he goes hard into Jonathan Lloyd, who was off balance and gets whistled for his second. A season high seven threes tonight for the Ducks in 15 attempts. It's a shame that all these bumps and slaps threaten to turn this into a free throw shooting contest the last 10 minutes because when these two teams get up and down the floor it's been very entertaining it really has but you, you understand what the officials are doing as well and that that trying to keep this game under control because both teams came out with the, as much intensity as you'll see in an early season game Diaz turnaround jump hook over the top of Woods second bucket in the second half for Diaz who's playing with three fouls Nebraska stays in that zone defense, even though Oregon knocked down that three. Sim to Singler. Lloyd drives a D. Woods. Nobody has a foul to give in there, and Woods misses the chippy. And a loose ball taken away by the Huskers. Finally scooped up by Richardson. He rolled it out 20 feet before finding his hands on it. You bow for three. That's what Nebraska needed right there is knock down a shot because they can feed off the off the uh, off the made shot into their defensive end, and that's what they have to do. Lob inside the woods, triple, Singler for three. Yes, and EJ Singler left open after the triple team inside on Tony Woods. And it's the center who finds an assist to the corner. You know, that's been the story we've been talking about it, but both teams, how their post offense has been so tough that how is the defense going to react when you get the ball? And he gets it, Woods gets it so deep there that they have to double down and they give the open shot. Here you see the favorable bounce by Nebraska on the open three point shot. Here on the other end, you see the defense converge on the inside. You know, leaving Sigler that open three-point shot isn't what you want to do either, though. Singler came into this game 57% from three. Oregon has hit a season-high eight threes in 16 tries. I don't have to be a triple major to know that's 50%. That's it, that's or nearby. That's right. <laughs> Nine minutes to go, and every time Nebraska has had a chance to get... The home crowd behind him, Oregon, comes up with a dagger. That last time it was Singler off the feed from Woods on the kickout. Oregon's in man defense now. Spencer leaves it for Ubel. Looking for Diaz. Woods knocked it away. Denied defense from Tony Woods. Not, not the best place to enter to the post there from the top of the key. You'd rather get it closer to the sideline, closer to the baseline, so that you've got better angles to, to feed the post there. Lloyd drives on Diaz. And now outlet to Spencer. No numbers for Nebraska. Two on three, two on four. But Spencer's still going to try to make something happen, and he draws a foul on Sim. The second on Garrett Sim. It just seems like every time either team puts their head down and attacks the basket, whether it's in the post or on the drive, good things are happening. Good job getting an angle on the defensive player. Just not able to finish it. The numbers, the, the foul numbers, which were, uh, you know, Oregon getting to that double bonus early. Now it's evened up. You know, you got nine fouls on Nebraska, but uh, but seven on Oregon already. Nine now for Bo Spencer, the transfer from LSU. Last time out against Southeast Missouri, Oregon hit 37.5% from behind the three-point line. That was a previous season high. Lloyd lost it again, taken away by the Huskers. Tally has it. No numbers again. They'll push it regardless. And Singler whistled for the foul. 
It's a 71 to 60 lead. Tally has a chance to take it to single digits. Down the wire in Lincoln. Even the highest efficiency dishwasher can't remove spots from your glasses if you have hard water. But a Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener can. The Culligan High Efficiency saves you up to 46% in operating costs, and it makes your glasses look 100% beautiful. Oh, we miss you, honey. I'll be home soon. Until then, I have my wingman helping me out. Tommy? I helped Dad pick it out. It's beautiful. Behind every open heart is a story. Tell yours with my open heart collection at K Jewelers, the number one jewelry store in America. There are millions of reasons to give one, but the message is always the same. Keep your heart open, and love will always find its way in. I love you. I love you too. Every kiss begins with K. Culligan has a wide range of bottle-free drinking water options for your home or office for just three cents a glass. There are no bottles to lift, and you never run out of bottled quality water. Right now, you can rent your choice for $10 a month for the first three months. Culligan, better water, pure and simple. Guys, I'm kind of freaking out. I have to upload a movie project for finals or else I won't graduate. So please, shut that stuff down until I'm done, okay? Sure. No problem. Living with Wi-Fi hogs? Let me play. No. Say hello to Time Warner Cable Wideband. All the speed, power, you. and bandwidth you need. Now. I got it. You are lifesavers. From our fastest internet sure. ever. No problem. Upgrade to faster speeds, plus get a great deal on HBO and Cinemax. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. Now's the perfect time to hit the road in a new Nissan from Sid Dillon and Lincoln. With competitive prices and a large selection, you'll find a vehicle that will redefine your driving experience. Hurry in before these great offers end. Take home a 2012 Altima 2.5S, lease it for $189 a month with $29.99 down, or buy it for $23.15. Check out Sid Dillon Nissan in Lincoln. Visit us online at SidDillonNissan.com. BTN Men's Basketball is presented by GMC. We are professional grade. And by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. Beautiful blue skies today behind the green elevators here in Lincoln. Oregon leads Nebraska 71 to 67, 55 to go. Doesn't seem like Thanksgiving weather. Look at how even the numbers are today. First three lines are identical. Ducks with a slight advantage in steals. But the lead on the scoreboard is 10 after the make by Dylan Talley. So what's Oregon doing so well to have had a double digit lead for most of the second half? Well, as good as Nebraska's offense has been, Oregon's has just been a little bit better. Uh, you wouldn't think the team could play Nebraska and shoot over 50%, let alone, you know, 55% this uh, this late in the game, but Oregon's found a way uh, not only to shoot that high percent, but also get to the free throw line. Richardson got his hands on the loose ball, saves it at the Oregon basket. Nebraska comes up with it. Here's Spencer. No numbers. It hasn't stopped them yet. It's taken all the way, and Singler pinned it. Diaz picks it back up and in. Seven and a half minutes ago, and Richardson went for the steal. And made contact with Ashelou. And that will be the third on Brandon Richardson. Nebraska on a 6 nothing run. You see that fast break basket by Nebraska. It looks like Spencer after that bucket he gets you can't quite see it there on that angle but uh, took a little shot to the head doesn't look like he's going to be coming out of the game though he just checked his head for blood Ashley missed the first of two free throws second one barely hit the rim but Oregon with the offensive rebound and a fresh 35 with 720 to go and the Ducks leading by seven. Sim gets the high screen. Diaz comes all the way on him with three fouls. Stolen away by Tally. Spencer transition triple. And 
Singler with the rebound. Uh, you just feel like Nebraska's one basket away from this crowd erupting and, and being right in this game, but uh, can't come up with the big bucket. Fantastic drive to quiet the crowd by Jonathan Lloyd. His first field goal of the second half. That allows Oregon to press a little bit. Richardson stops before the timeline. And again, Nebraska's going to look at something going to the basket. Tally, lob to Diaz, taken away by Sim. They continue to front the post. The backside helps them great. Yeah, I just don't think that high pass lob is what they would like to do is rotate the ball. I think you can get it to the post without having to throw it over the top. Oregon's just too quick and too athletic on that weak side. Lloyd again. And Ubel comes up with a Lloyd slow to get up. He banged his right elbow hard as he went to the court. Spencer got a half step and a bump foul from Olu Ashelu is the fourth on the senior. Intense game here tonight coming right through your HD screen. Boom. And then moments ago on the other side, Lloyd hazard pay for our cameramen tonight. I hope they make it to Thanksgiving. Oh, I like that last possession. You know, Spencer again puts it on the floor, you know, doesn't rely on that outside jump shot because in the double bonus here late in the games, you're just not going to get those open looks very often. You want to get you want to live on the line. In and out and out of bounds off of Oregon's Tony Woods. See if they can execute on this play. They've been very effective uh, underneath their own basket. Nebraska missed the front end of bonus free throws three times in the first half. Diaz, power dribble, too strong. Oregon rebound, and Singler will wisely slow it up for the Ducks. You know, this is the this is the time of the game with five, five and a half minutes left. Nine point game. You still want to stay aggressive. You don't want to just run clock. You want to get good, good high percentage shots. Get the feeling the window might be closing on a Nebraska comeback. Missed front end of a one on one and then a key rebound for the Ducks in that last trip. Tally knocked it to the expensive seats. Eight seconds on the shot clock for Oregon. Caleb Walker coming off of a career high 17 last week only has five. He will replace Spencer. And Spencer immediately goes to the end of the bench to visit the trainer. Three ball, short, rebound by Nebraska. Here's Richardson out front. Richardson will take it all the way. And Sim knocked it away and knocked it out of bounds. That's the first miss of the night for Sim. We'll see if Nebraska X the post there. They've done a good job of throwing it inside on that play, but a better job defensively of Oregon. Hadn't defended that well all night, but a good job there. Bump by Nared. Bo Spencer's getting looked at by the Nebraska trainer. You thought he caught an elbow. He also went hard into the camera trying to get to the rim. Oh, that'll do it. Just, <laughs> just dump some water on there. Clean it off. That's right. Spencer's a tough kid out of Glen Oaks High School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Diaz, just a 50% free throw shooter on the year coming in, but looked pretty good on the form on that one. Bangs them both. 17 for Jorge Brian Diaz. Seven point game, Sim. Coming off of his first miss of the game after four threes in the first half. Quick look to Singler. Singler, left hand, left his feet. Sim trying to get back on track. And Ubel has the rebound. Here come the Huskers. Four on four tally. 